It's T with T Quilts, and I'm here to do an R and R Ace Hardware haul. They have a fabric department, and so I went and purchased some things that I'm going to give to some quilters for their Christmas gifts. And I thought that I would share this video. The first thing that I purchased was this panel. I actually was looking at panels because my guild is having a challenge next year that's due in June. And we are to do something with a panel. So I can't show you the panel that I purchased to do that for the gill. But I did purchase this panel for a great nephew that's being born in a couple of weeks. I thought that I would just back this with a piece of fabric. And it will make a nice little throw blanket for the floor. This panel was seven eighths of a yard. It was not on sale. It was four dollars and thirty seven cents. The regular price of fabric at the Ace store is four ninety nine per yard, and they were running a special. And the price is three thirty three a yard, except that panels were not included in the sale. So the first thing that I did was I went to the dollar table. And they had various pieces of fabrics in there that they were trying to get rid of, their remnants. And this half yard piece was 50 cents. Also in the bin, I got two pieces of fabrics that were each three quarter yard at 75 cents each. I have the matches and then I also have the cigars. And I thought these would be great in some ice spy quilts. Next up for 88 cents is this Valentine print, but it's got like different sentiments on it that it could be used different times about loving chocolate, hugs and kisses, love letters, candles, hugs. So it's got various different things on here. One thing I do like is Paisleys and I have been collecting a few paisleys to make into a paisley scrap quilt. So I've just been collecting small pieces, but this was a yard, so it was one dollar. And then since I knew I probably wouldn't want to share it, they had a piece in there that was also a quarter of a yard for 25 cents. I purchased this print as well for one dollar. It was a full yard. They had two of these in there. thought it was pretty, so I bought both of those. This blueprint was also in the dollar bin. I will not be cutting this one because I thought it would make a great background for a portrait quilt that I would like to make. And then I found some light background prints. You all know from me doing my quilters patch quilt that I've been looking for this particular shade of background fabrics so this was in the bin because it was flawed here and there it has a, a line of ink that's in a blue color and that won't bother me so I can cut around that especially when I'm working with little pieces so this was a two yard piece that I got for two dollars and then this is a one and two thirds piece that I got for one dollar and sixty seven cents And other than my panels, that's all of the fabric that I got from other areas of the store. So now we are to regular fabrics and I'll just go ahead and start with my background prints that I will be keeping. These will not be cut because I went there specifically to buy these for me. So this one here is not quite two yards. I bought whatever was left on the flat fold. It was $5.56. This one is $15.83. So I bought what was left on that flat fold. And then I also purchased this one here that I can use in my quilt. And it was $15.82. 
and then they had that same fabric in the white as well but I won't be using it in my current project but I just thought it was pretty and will make a good stash builder so now we are at the half yard piece I actually bought this African print I have I don't necessarily like the fabric, but I thought this would be very cool to make an actual quilt using fabrics. So I bought this piece for inspiration, and then this piece will probably go on the back of the quilt. This is another piece that will not be in the swap. I actually purchased this to do a stack and whack quilt. And I have just enough to get the six repeats out of it, so I can't share any of this one. I'm very sorry. So this fabric here I actually purchased so that I could do binding with it. When I cut this on the diagonal, then these striped lines will go in the opposite direction. Okay, so now let's get to the fabric that will be included in the strip sets that I'm going to send out. So this is the first piece. It will be included in the drawing. It's one yard, so it was $3.33. So the next piece is this red hearts. It was in the Valentine section. I just thought the color was pretty. It says it's a canvas fabric and canvas is also produced by Benertex. So I purchased what was left on this flat fold for $6.25. This one here is $6.66. The next batches, maybe the next six are going to be two yard pieces this one is two yards as well I thought this coloring was different I had never seen an orange background with a dark green medium green and then more of a yellow green so I just thought it was different had a piece of purple batik so I bought a couple yards of that as well pink with some dots some speckle dots this one here I originally thought I was buying it to use for stacking whack but as I look at it it was too repetitive and when I cover put my hand on it I was covering up too much of the design so I don't think that that would make a very good stacking whack it might work but it's not what I'm looking for here's two yards of red has um, circles and here's a fall orange two yards of that so I got two more that are two yards I had purchased a lot of yellow gray and white prints from Hancock's of Paducah a few years ago so I had been collecting these colors and I thought that I could use some of this with that kit maybe I can figure out something to do with it but some of this will be in the drawing as well I also purchased this yellow one it has this big flower and big butterflies let me see if I can open it up for you a little bit so that's that print it's kind of weird because this feels like the ironing board material right here. <laughs> Very strange fabric. The next two pieces cost $9.99. It's three yards. Just something was interesting about this print with just the texture. It kind of reminds me of the dot matrix printers printing in color where you have the little squares printing out. I liked it so well that I got another piece in green and it has some different highlights some yellow green some browns the next piece is five dollars and fifty six cents it's not quite two yards I just thought this pink was pretty and the last piece it's this pink and I just bought the entire flat fold and I will be including some of this in there but I thought this would make a nice background again for a portrait quilt 
and I and if I have more than what I need then I can also use it as a backing so that is it for this haul I hope you enjoyed it I showed you everything except for the panel that I got to use for the challenge thank you for watching I'll see you in my next video and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.